welcome to the Northern Monkeys third episode. Today I'm going to make you the most simple salad. It's funky, it's sexy, it's cool. All you're going to need is a blizzard, some prawns, some beautiful vegetables, we've got some shallots, we've got some green beans, we've got some beautiful herbs, we've got some Thai basil, one of my favourites, we've got some dill, mint, we've got lime, we've got ginger, we've got garlic, we're going to funk it up with some chilli, it's going to blow our heads off, we've got some halloumi, love the halloumi, love it, and then we've got some pineapple, we're just going to go a little bit crazy and just make this salad come alive. And to finish it up, we've got some beautiful light cheese. So here goes. Time will tell, love is hell. And leaving isn't clever, lost the time when... First things first, we're going to make the dressing. We're going to need some lime, some ginger, some garlic, and we're going to go with some chilli and some soy sauce. How easy is that? We're just going to trim the ginger. With ginger, a good idea is to keep it in the freezer and then just bring it out and use it as you need it. And I'm just going to roughly trim that and then chop and we're going to put it straight into the blitzer. Garlic, again trim, in goes the garlic and the second clove, there she goes. Pop up the lime, we'll keep one to garnish at the end and we'll keep the other half just to squeeze in there. Shall I come and have a look at this? And then in goes the soy sauce, about half a cup. Chilli is the next thing that's going to go with the soy and ginger. Chilli is a massive, massive friend of the Northern Monkeys. It makes me dance, it makes me do all the things that people don't usually do. <laughs> Did you want to get into my mind? We have one big spoon and then it's going to go. The dressing is going to marinate the prawns. And it's also going to be the dressing at the end of the dish. So I'll probably say, use half to cover the prawns and the other half will save at the end to pour over the salad. The best part... <laughs> right, we're done. Boom. Just going to give that a little taste. Oh, woo, woo. Yeah, yeah baby. Over the prawns. And remember, we're going to save half for the end. One big bowl. We're going to grab our herbs and we're going to start picking. Dill, we're just going to roughly pick the dill and throw it straight in. Just be careful with the dill that you don't pick the stalks. They are very, very intense flavour. You're just looking just to get the lovely little bits of leaf. And that's all we want. And then next up is the mint. And last but not least, the Thai basil. Sniff the basil, absolutely beautiful. All the herbs are picked, they're sat in the bowl and they're waiting for a mate. Green beans. We're gonna do something really simple with these. We're just gonna take the ends off and then we're gonna take the other end off. If we chop these nice and simple, I'd say around about a centimeter. And that's just going to give us a nice crunchy texture in the salad. Next, shallots. Don't forget to give them a little bit of a rinse, just in case there's any grit on there. And then we're just going to trim the ends off. Chop it like a pro. Chop it like a pro. Chop it like a pro. Shallots are done, and they're going to go on top of the herbs, the beans. And we're just going to give them a little toss. Cherry tomatoes, we're just going to chop them in half, and then we're going to chop them into little quarters. Next up is the lovely fruit, which is going to give it that ping pang jang. Pineapple scares me, the head freaks me out, the body spikes me and it goes, ooh, ah, hurts me. So, what you do is, you just grab the top, and this is a good way to see if it's ripe or not. And then you just twist the top, and if it comes off nice and easy, like that, then we know it's ripe. You chop both ends off. And then you stand the pineapple up and you hold it nice and firm and you're just going to run a nice sharp knife down the edge, like so. And don't forget, you're going to have the core in the middle, so we're just going to take the core out because that's quite a, a tough 
bit of the fruit, roughly chop it, and then we're gonna get lovely pieces. In goes the pineapple. With the halloumi, we're just going to get our pan on the heat. We're just gonna drizzle a tiny bit of olive oil in. And then the halloumi, we're just gonna chop into small pieces. Pan is nice and hot. Halloumi is ready to go, chopped into cubes, and we're just going to pan sear the halloumi. You're just looking for a nice golden colour on either side of the halloumi. Mmm! Woo! We're just going to sprinkle that over the top of the salad. Back on the stove. So here's our prawns, and we're just going to drop them into the pan. One by one. Don't move them about, just let them hit the pan and let them sizzle and let them cook on one side and then we'll toss them over. And what you'll find with the prawns is you'll get a lovely caramelised texture on top of them. The prawns are cooked, looking pretty, pretty good I'd say. We're just going to get our hands, give them a wash. I'm just going to serve this up on this wooden board. Nice and rustic. There she is, there she is. Oh yeah, there she is. We're gonna go prawns over the top. And then we're gonna go with the light cheese. Chop them in half. Light cheese are gonna give it that nice sweetness along with the pineapple, which will cook through all that spice and soy and saltiness. So we're just gonna dot the light cheese around the plate. And then the lime, we're just gonna squeeze it. Throw it on the top, and then we've got our lovely dressing from before that we marinated the prawns in, and we're just going to give that a big dash over the top. There we have it, the Shakel Amore prawn salad. It does not get any better than that. A big thank you from the Northern Monkey to you for tuning in and watching me create my humble, delicious, flavoursome dishes. Remember, keep in touch. Hit the comments, subscribe for free and keep following the Nova Monkey for more recipes like this.